After nearly five decades as part of the Atlantic 10 Conference, the full UMass Athletic Department is officially making their move over to the Mid-American Conference. Well, for the football team, it's a return to the Mac Western Mass News reporter. It's like Glenn a Broadway Hill. play today. <laughs> Joins us live in Amherst with more on today's announcement. Glenn, a big day for UMass Athletics. Could you start with a song, Glenn? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Chris Abbey, I, lo I love the reference, by the way, but it's not only a big day for the athletic department, a big day for the university in general. The ripple effects of this conference realignment stretch much farther than the basketball courts or the turf. A 48-year run in the Atlantic 10 Conference is coming to a close for UMass Amherst. The university officially announcing their move to join the Mid-American Conference, or the MAC, at the end of the 2024-25 season, rounding out a conference featuring Ball State, Bowling Green, and Ohio University. This transition and this decision was not made uh, without great thought for what's ahead for our athletics program. Uh, it's no surprise to anyone in this room that college athletics is changing rapidly. The UMass football program was part of the MAC from 2012 to 2015, but returned to being an independent when the university opted to not become an all sports member in the MAC. This new decision is not only a shakeup for the over 650 student athletes in Amherst. There's the financial picture at play, potentially bringing millions of dollars into the university. This will grow, allow us to grow our revenues to the department by anywhere from eight to ten times uh, what we're currently uh, seeing you know, from a conference standpoint. Um, right as we enter the league and I think the ability to grow that over time is really going to be an impactful piece. In terms of a financial impact moving to the MAC has on the students, UMass Amherst Chancellor Javier Reyes says that's to be determined. However, he and Director of Athletics Ryan Bamford both agree the move has more positive impacts to the university than negative. We went into this knowing that we also need to have more resources not only for our experience but also for our university and this gives is the best opportunity to get there. Being able to be uh, playing on a Wednesday night nationally, being able to have consistently consistent visits to specific areas of the country, that will allow us to fly the UMass flag in many places in ways that it will result in increasing our stature, our reputation. Now coming up at six, we're going to take a closer look at how this new conference realignment affects the athletes with more with different matchups, a lengthier travel schedule and possible better NIL deals for those athletes. Reporting live in Amherst, Glenn Kittle for Western Mass News.